Hey there crafter, my name is Amanda. Welcome to Crafters Autonomous and thank you for watching my channel. So we are in September, which means that it's basically fall, which means that it's basically Christmas time. At least, at least in my mind, which I'm more than ready for the holidays and for Christmas and awesome fall weather and apple picking and pumpkins and all that good stuff. So for today's video, we're going to be doing a kind of fall related project because I think bandanas are very fall-ish. You know, you got the deep, rich colors. You can get them in like cute plaids and things. So today I've gathered a bunch of bandanas and we are going to be making several different DIY bandana headbands. These are super simple. All you're going to need are some bandanas. You can get these for like a dollar. You can probably find them even cheaper. I'll see if I can find them cheap online and I'll link them down below. You may also want some hair ties. So some of these here are the goodies ouchless hair elastic. So basically just basic pony holders. You'll want a pair of scissors and you may want needle and thread. I'm not a big fan of sewing, so I'm gonna show you the sewing option, but I'll also show you the no sewing option. So let's get into DIYing some bandana headbands. Our first headband is the most basic, and as you can see from the folds, I've had this one folded as a bandana for quite some time. So the first step we want to do is fold our bandana into a big triangle, and then from the middle point, we're gonna start rolling it in to the center. However wide you roll is how wide your headband is going to turn out. I'm just gonna keep folding it over and over and over until we get all the way to this bottom edge. You'll end up with a long piece like this, and to turn this into a headband, we're going to put it around our head and just tie it into a knot. So I'll show this one on the camera and hopefully it picks up well and I'm able to tie it right away on my first go. But basically I'm just wrapping it around my head. You can go under your hair or over your hair either way. And then at the top, I'm gonna tie it in two little knots. And you do want this to be fairly snug because if it's too loose, it will fall out. But obviously don't go so tight that you're giving yourself a headache. And then once I get it tied up there, you wanna make sure you don't catch any of your hair in your knot, so be careful when you take it down. But what I like to do is once I get the knot tied to take it down and then re-pull it back, cause my hair just turns out a little neater that way. And I leave my ears sticking out because I just hate having stuff over my ears, but you could cover your ears or you could have your hair back in a ponytail. And the bandana is a great way to just add a little more character to it. I feel like this look really channels the fall vibe and this works great all season long. I personally like leaving the knot at the top, but if that's not the look you're going for, you can of course twist the knot to the underside. So that is our first DIY bandana, super easy. All right, so this next one is super similar, but we're going to use the elastic fastening and this is great if your bandana is really small or if you have a larger size head I have a really small head so I don't always need to do this but this is super helpful and with this you can fold this however you want you basically just want to fold up your bandana into kind of a like long thin tube piece that will basically be the width of your bandana for me I'm just gonna roll this one the same way I did our first one what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a hair tie and run it down our bandana on one side, fold it over, then bring it to the middle, run our other end through and pull it down. And then what we can do is we will size it to fit our head. I'm gonna do that off camera. And then once I've got it sized properly, I can stitch the ends together. And I like to sew one side first and then size it to my head because it just makes it a lot easier. So we'll bring this down here so we have plenty of slack some thread here and a little needle and I'm gonna sew this on here and you don't have to do any kind of fancy sewing I'm really not that great of sewing would not consider myself a fan but this just needs to be strong enough to just tack it together so it doesn't have to be anything fancy it doesn't have to look good because no one's gonna see it and I'll just stitch this fold over around my hair elastic just make sure that you don't run your needle through your hair elastic you can also cinch it to kind of bunch it up down at the base. That's totally optional. And once you're done sewing, of course, tie it off. And if you want, you can trim this extra piece off. Now that I've got my first side sewn, I'm going to run my other end through the hair tie, fold it over. And then I'm doing this off camera, but I'm gonna put this on my head, size it down, and I can you know, make it smaller, make it looser. And then once I get a good fit, I'm gonna hold these pieces together, take it off my head, and sew it together just like I did the first side. Now, if you want to skip the sewing completely, just tie a knot. This is a great option if you feel you need a little more stretch or a little more secure hold to your bandana headband. The hair tie provides that and it's super cheap. You don't have to go out and buy specific elastic for this project and you can sew it or cut the sewing out entirely. So here we have the one that I sewed together. This is a great option to give you a little more stretch and maybe a little more hold. It's also nice because you've got plenty of stretch so you won't likely get a headache from it. But because of the hair tie, it has enough hold so that way it doesn't just fall off all day long. So again, the knots are a lot easier, but they are a little nubbier and maybe more noticeable. But you can of course just put your hair down over it and if you don't like the knots, you can always sew it together. 
Our next look is going to use two bandanas and I'm running out of like classic fall looking bandanas. So we're gonna use these brightly colored bandanas instead for this one. So I've got my two bandanas here and we're gonna do the same kind of fold that we did, but this we want to do a bit messy. So I'm going to fold it this way. We're gonna roll this little point in and then we're just gonna kind of bunch it up. And personally, I like it to look messier. I just think it turns out better, but you do want it folded just a little bit so that way that corner piece isn't sticking out. We'll set that off to the side, repeat with our second bandana, fold it into a big triangle, roll up the tip for a little bit, and then just kind of bunch it together like so. So then I'm gonna take one bandana and lay it on top of the other in perpendicular directions, and then just fold them against each other like that and then give a little pull and you'll get this really cute little crisscross look in the front of your bandana. How cute is that? And then yes, you guessed it, we're going to use another hair tie and then we will either tie these onto our hair tie or sew them. I'm just gonna tie because I think that's a little easier. Anything to get out of sewing, am I right? Seriously though, if you enjoy sewing, I have so much respect for you. I'm just so bad at it. Mad respect for you people who are actually good at sewing and enjoy it. So I've got my one end tied. I'm gonna come down to my other end and I'm just tying these ends together, basically making two jumbo loops that are tied around the other bandana and then also around the hair elastic. Again, sizes to fit your head. I did that part off camera. Then you get a cute, chunky, crisscrossed headband. So this one I think is a really fun look and it's just very cozy. And you could even use like a scarf for this one that would look super cute, like a plaid scarf. Another tip is if you don't want it to be so chunky like it is at the top of mine, you can cut your bandanas in half and either make a monotone bandana using the two halves of your bandana or else you can use halves from two different bandanas and do it like that so it won't be quite so chunky. And you can twist it so it lays different ways as well if you want it more crisscross or you can do it where they're kind of tucked into each other. I think this is a really fun and funky look. All right, it's time to get out the scissors for this next one. We're going to do a simple braided bandana. You're gonna want two different bandanas for this. And I like to cut them both at once because it just goes a little faster. And I'm gonna cut mine into about one inch strips. This is not at all exact. If you wanna make it go a little faster, you can fold it back and forth several times, but you gotta have really sharp scissors to be able to cut through all the layers. I'm gonna hack this edge off so we start with a clean edge. And now I'm gonna cut one inch strips. Like I said, if you're gonna fold it up a bunch, you've gotta have really sharp scissors for this, which I do, I have a good pair of sewing scissors. So then we can open it up and we will have these nice long strips. And in my case, I have four of them. So I think I will do a four strand braid. So I'm gonna be sewing this around a hair elastic. So I'm just gonna sew these together around a hair elastic from the get-go, make it easy. I've just got them stacked up, folding it over, and I'm gonna sew that together. Also, I promise there's no kind of fancy sewing with this involved, this is just a, stitch back and forth so it holds together and call it good enough. Okay, so now that we have it fastened together, it's time to start braiding a four strand braid. It is pretty simple. So I have it around my water bottle to provide some tension. I'm also moving this upside down, so bear with me here. So we're gonna pick a side to start with, and I'm gonna start on this side, which I think is the left when you guys are watching this. Hopefully that's right. I'm gonna go under, over, over, under under, over, over, under. So basically one side is gonna always be under over and the other side's gonna always be over under. So I'm gonna finish braiding this out and of course you can do a basic three strand braid. Okay, so I've got it braided to the end, time to get my elastic off the water bottle and I'm going to loop this around my hair elastic, fold it over, and stitch it up. Okay, now you might be noticing this turned out really short. You may need to tie on additional strips, which is what I am going to do. You can tie them end to end, or you can sew them together. Either way, it doesn't really matter, but likely you will need to make them longer, which I do for mine. Because my head's tiny, but it's not, it's not that tiny. All right, so I've got this braided off. and take my hair tie off my water bottle. And again, we're gonna fold it around over the hair tie. I will size this to fit on my head, sew it up, and then this headband will be put together. And with this one, since these tails are so long, I am going to trim them. And now you have a cute fall braided headband. So here's how the braided one looks when it's put on. I think this one's so cute, super fall and festive looking. All right, we're gonna cut up more bandanas for this one. So I'm gonna keep using these two that I have rolled together. I'm gonna again, cut out some one inch strips. Maybe that's more like one and a half inches. Ow, I pinched my fingers in the scissors. All right, so I cut out four, which means I have a total of eight strips because I cut through two pieces at once. And the first thing I need to do is make my strips longer. So again, you can either tie them together 
or sew them together. I'm just gonna tie them together. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. There's lots of ways to tie two bandana ends together. Doesn't really matter. Just something snug that'll hold. So I want all of my pieces to end up being double in length. All right, so I've got my four pieces and basically all I'm going to do is twist them all together. So again, you can start by sewing it onto a pony holder or you can tie it onto a hair elastic, however you wanna do it. This one, I'm going to tie around an elastic. And for me, I'm just gonna run my red pieces through there and my blue pieces. We'll tie these all together in a knot here at the end. That ought to do it. Got my hair tied on this end. And basically all we're going to do is just twist this whole thing together. So I'm twisting with my right hand and just letting it feed through my left hand. And I have this section where I have all these knots. I'm not too worried about them. Oh, get it, not too worried about them, ha ha ha. I'll probably trim those down once I get done though. And of course you could have sewn that section together if you don't want to deal with the knots. All right, so now I'm gonna keep holding my ends twisted, size it to my head, and then once I've got it sized down, this is the important part, when I fold it over here, I'm not going to let this untwist a bunch because we wanna make sure that we keep this twist in our bandana pieces. So again, I'm just gonna run my two blue pieces through the hair elastic. So my hair ties right in there and tie this off. Okay, so it kinda wants to do this because we've got all that twist in there. That is okay, that is normal. Your hair tie might twist up a little bit. Again, that's okay. But I'm just gonna trim off these long ends here, trim off the tails from my knots, and then this headband is done. So this twist one can be a little tricky to put on just because it's trying so hard to untwist. So make sure you keep that twist in there. And I personally like to over twist it. But again, this one is so simple and basic, takes barely any materials or time. You can whip out a whole bunch of these in whatever color bandanas you want. My last bandana DIY idea is to take a headband that we've already made. So basically any one of these, then get another bandana and tie it into a bow and then tie that onto your headband. So we're gonna put this one on the braided headband here. If you don't know how to tie a bandana into a bow, go check out my video. I will link it in the card up above. You can go watch that really simple process, but I'm not gonna show you how to do that again here since I already have a video on it. But you can tie the bandana bow onto any of these headbands we've made to add a really cute, simple accent. So I think the bow is super cute. It has that very festive fall southern kind of feel to it. And it's really easy to incorporate into any of the headbands we've done so far. And if you don't want your bow to be so big, you can always start with a smaller bandana or cut your bandana to a smaller size from the start. So there you have it. Those are some simple DIY headband bandanas. Gosh, that is a mouthful. But I hope y'all enjoyed learning how to make these different headbands. Let me know in the comments which one of these headbands is your favorite. And of course, if you make any of these, post it on Instagram and tag me at Crafters Autonomous. I think there's an underscore in there. I'll pop it up on screen. So definitely tag me if you make any of these. But thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you have an awesome rest of your week and happy crafting.